We're going to look at the IFC exporter in Revit 2018. You can access it via the file menu and then come down to export and then IFC. If you've downloaded the enhanced interface you'll get this dialog box appear and what it does it gives you far more options than the standard IFC exporter that comes within Revit 2018. So what we've got is a number of different options which we can look at in the setup. So we go to modify setup and it brings up the setup dialog box with different preset setups for IFC 2 times 3 configuration and some for IFC 4 and we're advised to use IFC 4 when working in the BIM environment because it has more options um, in the file itself to allow you to export in not only the physical data of the building and building services objects and the structural objects but also the associated data like for example uh, analysis and 4D planning information but what I found working in the field is that IFC 4 does not really export as much of the physical data as IFC 2 times 3 so what I've been told by lots of uh, people I work with is that IFC 2.3 still works a little bit better than IFC 4 so you'll have to make that decision for yourself. So it's divided up into lots of different tabs. Um, the first tab under general you can choose which IFC version you're exporting in and then you can go to additional content and say if you want to export 2D plans or export link files to separate IFCs and then property set information as well level of detail, most important, the BIM process you'll be required to export out in a number of different ways whether it be um, a high level of detail to low level of detail so depending on which stage you are in the process you can choose the appropriate option and then under advanced a few settings in there however this is all for a start setting but what this doesn't tell you is what IFC objects are actually being exported. So I'm going to cancel out of this and I'm going to come back to it because what I am going to look is go back to the file menu come down to export and right at the bottom of the list we have our options and you'll see IFC options. Now what we've got in here is all the object types or revenue categories and then whether they're going to be exported or not and you can see that a lot of them especially the analytical information is not exported as a default but if you go to the um, IFC class you can change the settings to export out all the information that you want but you must get the IFC class name correct and there's a BIM smart document which will give you more information on that so all that happens is you find the category that's not going to be exported and then you highlight it and perhaps I'm going to just take the name of one below it and then you put in a value that the IFC exporter recognizes and then that uh, um, information will be exported into the new IFC file and once you've done that you can do a save as and then save this file as an export option so we can save it so now we've set our export options we can now export our IFC file so we go to our IFC which brings up the enhanced interface and because we're going to create our own unique export we need to set up our own custom setup so we go to the create a new setup and we'll call it setup 2 that's fine we say OK and now we can change the settings for ourselves and as discussed earlier we're not sure whether to have an IFC 4 or an IFC 2.3 IFC 2.3 does export more options but um, IFC 4 um, exports different 
categories and gives us all the extra analytical information as well. So there's a, two schools of thought in that respect. We'll just have to choose which one gives us the best results. Okay. So I'm going to choose IFC Design Transfer View 4 and then I'm going to go to my additional content and export link files to separate IFCs, property sets, a few settings in here, level of detail. This is going to be late on in the process so we want as much detail as possible so we go to high and then under advanced perhaps just the um, IFC options about information there as well. So that's my setup what, and it's saved as its own setup that I can import every single time so I don't have to go through this process. I say OK and now I hit the export button. It then says um, what the file name is and because I've done this before it's there already and we just say yes and the file is now exported. So having it exported our IFC file we now go to the import so we go to file and open we don't go to open IFC, we go to the IFC options because in the IFC options just as we had IFC class and type that we were exporting we also have to set in this dialog box that the import options so that we import those types that were exported so we need to make sure that uh, the settings in this dialog box match the ones that we exported otherwise some of the categories that we export will not be imported into the new file and once we set all of these all we need to do is a save as and that allows us to save this as an import mapping file and we don't need to do this again from then onwards we can just use this as an imported file okay so we've done that we say okay and now we're ready to import or open our file. So go to open, IFC and then we go and find the appropriate file which is in our folder and then we just import it in.